Strikers finals. Um, so yeah, we should be able to get a fair amount of matches into you guys, even though it's uh, a relatively small bracket. Um, Oh, no. I, I'm not necessarily disappointed in the small bracket though. It's been it's been fun. It's been super chill. Yeah, absolutely. Like I um, I mean, right now we've got Muse op uh, opting for the uh, Sheik, which actually Sheik's really good against Corrin in certain aspects. Uh, but then there's also you know, like if Tank can really utilize Corrin's disjoints and keep Sheik out. That's gonna be really good, but like honestly, she has so much mobility, and like everything she does is safe. And needles. And when the range, you know, happens, you know, needles exactly is gonna be a thing. Um, but we're looking at, you know, news reasonable, reasonable lead right here. Yeah, no, he's uh, starting off strong. Let's see where Tang goes. He is playing Corn after all. Yeah, Corn's awesome. Not, not in her her respective game. <laughs> like, oh my god, Corrin actually kind of sucks in her game. Really? Yeah, like, the whole moral of the story is we don't want to kill people, but, like, the entire game is spent killing people. It's that sounds about right. That's, that sounds like a, you know, a plot line that's kind of well, standard. Okay. Especially in... Guess that forward throw bouncing fish. Especially in Birthright, though. Because, like, the whole, like, region of, a. Uh, well, I mean, it's warring nations versus each other, is it not, technically? It like, is. if you look at it literally well, like, just what, for what it is. In Conquest, Nor, you do less damage to, um, Hoshido in Conquest than Hoshido does to Nor in Birthright. Because every level is basically route the enemy, and the only level that isn't route the enemy, there's faces. Oh my god, Void Combo! Oh. Void Combo! I stopped, Void I stopped Combo. for a second. Yeah, you missed a Void Combo. This is, that was just Sheikville. This is what happens when you talk about Crap and Fire and War. You miss, you miss Void Combos. War is hell and Sheik fares. <laughs> End of story. Dude, I'm, I'm really happy that I know that there aren't many people out today, but I'm glad that there are people in chat. Oh yeah, no, chat's relatively lively. But tell me how uh, how you guys are doing. That's respectable to Johan in chat. Right now we're on town and city. Uh, you know both characters do get a benefit out of that. You didn't. You know what's funny is when uh, whenever a coin is charging the fang shot in front of a. Uh, Oh, you know, a shielded character. Muse always says to roll, but then he just helps shield at that point. It's really funny. He didn't roll behind. But man, back air to fair fair, and tries to do an extended advantage there to get uh, additional edge guard on uh, keeping that uh, ledge pressure going there on uh, Tang. Oh, ledge trump back air. That's the one thing, like, against Sheik, you really have to be ready to buffer your option on the stage. Are you familiar with ledge trump action? Um, slightly, but I'm not. Um,. Like, okay. Like, when it so, comes to what you would do after the Okay, so what you do, there's only uh, a couple of buffered options, or three buffering op buffered options that you can do when you're getting uh, both players are at the same stage, or same point on the stage. Yeah. You can uh, roll, jump, uh, or get up attack. Those are the only three things you can buffer uh, because all the other inputs don't count uh, in towards buffering inputs. Like, so you can't do, uh, buffer neutral get up yeah. or anything like that. Oh, that might? No, not quite a stock. Um, but that's one thing that you use, you're going to see, see a lot from Muse. Um, other than the fr uh, frame, just straight frame traps. Oh, wow, go deep. Hit him with that back air. Man. But I mean, this is within the possibility for Tang to be able to take this stock. Because um, Sheik with Rage can kill relatively easier. But it also kind of makes combos, uh, certain combos, not, not work for Sheik. But it doesn't stop as much of the fair trade, if you will. Yeah. What up to the other? Shout out to you in chat. Alright, Tank. Okay, I like that. He actually went off stage uh, with the uh, dragon launch and then came back in with the back air with the wings. Uh, because Muse did go for the pursuit there. Okay, I really thought Muse was going to go for a footstool right there and. Uh, in that pretty quickly. Okay, Tang, Tang actually DI'd in on that forward tilt, made that a little bit harder to react to from Muse. Um, but it's not more optimal because you just go straight in and you can just double double jump straight up and get the follow up there as well. 
use holding that strong lead right now. Absolutely, he's full Ooh. stock ahead, almost about to get percent uh, percent lap as well. Yeah, no. Oh, oh he uh, lands with that neutral. Air. And I'll say it time and time again, Tang is probably one of the best corins uh, in our state or in our region as when it comes down to utilization of neutral air. You know, he uses it relatively sparingly. Uh, he uses it definitely uh, a lot less than Mooj uses down air. Like, Mooj always uses down air when he's like being pressured from below. Um, whereas Tang will use it just, yeah, like you see there, right there, he's punishing short hops um, and he's covering his landing. Uh, with that neutral air, and I think that's really good. And actually, that platform interaction was really interesting. The platform is moving away from uh, Corin as she pinned, which makes me think that she should technically move with the platform. Oh, wow. Took the trade, but can use two back airs. Gets back to stage. Really good recovery there by Tang. Ooh, an opportune. Uh, oh, he jumps out and punished again. Um, but actually, that was really close for Tang. He, uh, he made a lot of really good decisions. Um, Muse was just able to cover that tail end uh, with that, because uh, you know when you're up in the air and you're getting juggled by uh, Sheik, yeah. you kind of look at where you can go, and Tang was looking at that platform, and so Muse realized that that's where he went after that air dodge and where he was gonna go, and so Muse definitely punished that as uh, as a priority. Or being in the prior air against gave Sheik. that as a priority, but yeah, being in the air against Sheik, being in the air against almost any character is scary. Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 you hear yeah, like, huh. Well, I had to think about it for a sec, but yeah, no. Like, having the ground, like, it's just invaluable. Oh, Pitt's, like, entire thing is the neutral. Yeah. It, he has really good neutral, so. I honestly, I think Pitt's juggle game is where he lacks. Really? Yeah, that's, that's just my personal opinion. A lot of people say that's, like, where he thrives. I mean, at least from what I've heard. Like anytime I saw a tutorial, they're all like, "Pit's got like really great juggle game." It's side I mean, the only the reason he has the pit like that option is because he has multiple jumps. But like, they're not as threatening as say like a cloud up air or something like that. They're definitely not. Yeah, no, his his juggle game isn't like as relevant in the sense. Of, like, oh my god. Oh. Dang, I look away for like a second every time. Yeah, every time you look away, you like look to make eye contact with you. You're just like, well, I'm gonna miss this uh, sweet tippered up smash on the moving smash world platform. And then I do. <laughs> okay. Oh. oh. Right. Awkward trades. Yeah, no, I thought. Uh... I think Tang was actually with that forward smash. He was trying to cover a bouncy fish or a uh, double jump uh, coming from use. Kind of change up his location on his landing. He might be able to take a stock here as well. He's okay. He's covering these landings. Talking about juggles. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, talking about juggles. That neutral air definitely kept the uh, use at disadvantage state. So he's covering so much space right here. And that nair is like so. It's huge. huge. Yeah. It's like the size of you know, I don't. Something big. Oh, oh that might be it. Yeah. Has a really strong edge guard. Muse able to get that jump taken away. It's like the size of Cloud. Wait. Yeah. All right, but Tang, Tank's not out of this. That was our winner Simi set. So we're gonna be having him uh, advance on to the losers. Uh, Muse is gonna be in the winners final set against Chuck. Uh, so Tang is gonna play Shiny. I haven't played B Link yet, so let's get that out of the way.